Want an accurate muzzle velocity but don't have a chronograph? No problem. Geoballistics by Vortex allows you to dial in your velocity using real world data. I'll show you how. So before we begin the process of truing our muzzle velocity, we wanna make sure that our rifle is actually zeroed. So I'm gonna do that right now at 100 yards. So I just shot a three round group and the gun is zeroed. Muzzle velocity is a key variable that we put into geoballistics. And if this is off even by a little bit, it can cause elevation issues for us at distance. Not everybody owns a chronograph. If we don't have a chronograph and I cannot measure my muzzle velocity, that's no problem. I can come out to the range and I can dial with an assumed muzzle velocity. I get either from the box of ammunition or just based off of my experience with a general starting point. Right now I'm shooting my 308 Winchester. I have a muzzle velocity, assumed muzzle velocity of 2,600 feet per second. Geoballistics gave me my data, so I will simply pick a target at distance. Preferably this is done. I'm a mill shooter between two mils and five mils of drop. For me, that's gonna be between about 400 yards and 600 yards that I want to calibrate that muzzle velocity. If I'm an MOA shooter, Generally, it's about seven minutes to 17 minutes of drop. Wherever you see that is about that distance where you wanna calibrate that muzzle velocity and fine tune things from there. So let's go ahead and put this into practice. My data tells me to be up 4.2 mils at 600 yards. So I'm gonna go ahead and dial on 4.2 mils. I have a 600 yard target downrange. I'm gonna go ahead and acquire that target and then make the necessary elevation changes, if any are needed, and make sure I record those so I can go back and fine tune the data in the application. On that shot, I was about three tenths of a mil high. So I'm gonna come down three tenths of a mil and attempt to re-engage. And in that shot, it resulted in a center impact on my intended target. Now, how many shots it takes for me to build confidence in this data is a personal choice. Maybe I wanna take another few shots to ensure, okay, this is my elevation data. So I hit center on that. I'm gonna go ahead and record 3.9 mils, and then we'll go back in the application and we'll see how this can calibrate my muzzle velocity. So we have some information in here and I can go back in the app and tune that muzzle velocity. So from the chart screen in Geoballistics, I'll go to that center icon at the very bottom and tap on that. In top left, I see edit profile. So I'll go ahead and click on edit profile. And if I scroll all the way down in my gun profile, you'll see a section called corrections. And I can either tune muzzle velocity or BC. Typically, we only tune muzzle velocity, BC. Potentially, we could tune for those later stages of flight. Muzzle velocity is gonna be the most relevant for most people's application. So we'll go ahead and we'll click calculate next to muzzle velocity truing. And I'll enter the range that I want to true at. So in this case, I was at 600. I'll hit done and it'll pop up with my actual drop based off of my current gun profile. So in this case, it was 4.2 mils, which I initially dialed onto my optic, but that's not where I ended. So I'll go ahead and erase that and I'll type in 3.9 mils, which is where I ended. In this case, it's telling me I need to be at 2,693 feet per second, as opposed to my predicted muzzle velocity, which I typed in 2,600. Now I'll hit apply. And if I back out to my chart screen in Geoballistics, you'll see at 600 yards, that is now matching what I'm hitting center with at 600. Geoballistics is an awesome tool as it allows us to calibrate our muzzle velocity and true up this trajectory. But we as shooters need to make sure that we're doing our due diligence. One, is it me, the shooter? Am I throwing my shot? Is that what's causing the elevation error? Is my gun zeroed? Is that target at the distance that I think it's at? There's a lot of things that I need to be going through and checking, checking through my data, my gun profile to make sure all the variables 
are what they're supposed to be. Make sure you're making those checks before we start manipulating the data in GeoBallistics, and we should see good results. That's how easy it is to get an accurate muzzle velocity. No chronograph needed. Download GeoBallistics for free and start dialing in your shots today.